Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome back again to the Digital Talk Show. And we would like to welcome our colleague, Mr. Faisal Rajab. How are you, Faisal? I'm very good. Thank you, Dr. Mohamed. Before we take you, we need to take Dr. Mohamed because he is ready to show us something tonight. What have you got for us? Smiley face, uh, Dr. Mohamed. Staying connected, Dr. Anwar. Yes. Our mobile devices are big part of our life. They are, yes, big parts. But what happens when the electricity is off? Hmm, we will suffer, perhaps. Our devices will become chicken box. Yes. So Doing nothing. So what do we do nowadays when the power goes out? These gadgets can quickly become useless bricks. Goodness me, useless bricks? Absolutely. What's use of A frightening your... news will create some source of energy, another source of energy. So we will tell you the secrets. Yes, tell me the secrets, please. At night, when we charge our mobile devices, mm. we use to stay connect. Also, we don't forget about backup devices like BlackBerry. We don't get uh, from work, tablets, and etc. But when the lights go out, let us see your uh, the, uh, my the, screen. Yes, I hope the director show you. When the lights go out, you are on your own. Mm. Here are some tools and tips how to stay connected a bit longer. Oh goodness! Yes, a backup charger is always useful, Doctor Anwar. Yes, you can even find chargers that use solar power. Oh. You were right; they they are available in uh, hardware stores. And don't forget about your car charger. Assuming you have a car, of course, your car battery will be solid long uh, solid uh, long after your uh, phone. Uh, goes out of power mm. if you need to power up something a little bigger than your mobile device like a, a desktop or a laptop for example you need a power inverter mm. you want to be able to use laptop so you you want to convert uh, DC power from your car battery into AC power that goes to your desktop or laptop Mm. So this is very useful, power inverter. Most computer stores nowadays carry those inverters. You can get them with reasonable prices. While there is still some time, fully charge your laptop. Because as you know, you can charge your mobile device through your laptop by connecting the USB connection. Mm. So it is very important to keep, keep your laptop uh, backed up, charged, and ready to be used. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also two good examples, but there are plenty of others, of course. One can use uh, a walkthrough for how long to control the battery usage. Are there are software to tell me what applications on my mobile which are power hungry, they eat most of the power on my machine? Yes, yes there is one. It's called Karat, mm. C-A-R-A-T, Karat. Mm. You download this on the App Store, mm. and this is, it's like carrots, huh? Mm. It shows you all the power-hungry uh, programs and mm. applications on your device. It tells you the memory active on your device, memory used in your device, how much memory you are burning, and where you are burning it to. Mm. So you can control all these devices. Please don't forget to turn off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth connection when you are not using it because they also consume a lot of memory power. Also, this, thank you very much, Dr. Mohammed. Also, the most consuming uh, part of the power, I think, the screen itself. Yes. Especially when it is a little bit big one. Mm -hmm. Then if you keep it switched off, rather than just switch, you can keep it switched on. But it is consuming power, is, the yes. light and everything, and of course it is ready. But when you keep it on the silent mode, power mode, yes, to, yes, to I think this is save as much all as will save energy, and it will be happy itself because then you are not putting it on the alert. And this is uh, before we go to Faisal. I think there is one uh, news which I have to say. You know, USB is very important part of our life, Faisal, of course. and Dr. Mohammed yes. and our dear viewers. And uh, the connections, the USB here in mm -hmm. our laptops, mm -hmm. are limited by the speed of USB cables because they are carrying the signals. Yes. And hence, 
the output or the input from other device or the output from other device to this input are controlled by the cables, the speed, the quality, uh, and so many, the material itself. Correct. And of course, the, the motherboard also, the bus system, how it works in the motherboard, all these are connected uh, uh, and they are very important to be matching and uh, synchronized. Mm -hmm. So I think this, uh, the updated standard will offer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second wow. while maintaining backward compatibility compatibility 10 gigabit 10 gigabits per second, per second. Uh, yes this is uh, USB 3.0 oh, the see. third generation of the USB standard for connecting nice. devices to PCs nice this is very important because there was the bottleneck you see uh -huh, uh -huh. there was the like uh, something uh, uh, trying the data it want to be uh, as fast as other applications. 10 gigabits yes. per second yes yes goodness yes. me how many movies you like to copy in <laughs> one minute <laughs> well that was a bottleneck now this is being removed Unbelievable. there is no bottleneck now in this speed there are others perhaps here and there but from this uh, uh, the, uh, the usb the laptop usb i think now as you mentioned the 10 gig i think will improve the speed uh, of it will match the processors somehow in the future although it will does be it speed my, me charging my mobile through this usb uh, it, if it, it depends also on the cables yes why not because this is electricity now uh -huh. you are talking a good question huh? yeah the, it's not data you see not this data. is charges you see but still through the usb it's still, it's still, it's still through usb the good quality there all the uh, precautionary measures are taken care of so i think this is very you good. saved us time we owe you big dinner <laughs> actually you know all yes, laptops right now are all usb3 because i've been trying to buy a laptop and they're all usb3 now this is the current yeah. standard yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. this is in 2003 i think in yes the current standard it, this is in 2014 i think it will be the everything all laptops but some now some uh, selected uh, laptops even the surface the small surface is usb3 i believe right, right. yeah i think this will also help and uh, i think as you mentioned you can download the uh, film mode one hour now you can download it in minute, m minutes like uh, because this was uh, Anyway, this was just an uh, important piece of news. Nice oh. info. Please, yes. enchant us, Mr. Faisal. Mr. Faisal, Would what you like you me to start? Yes. Okay. You're uh, without a uh, tie tonight, Mr. Faisal, you are changing your address. The weather is getting better. As yes, as yes, concerned. we can so see the green color now. Yes, the green so color coming out. I don't out. have to wear a green so guy. Clothes. He's a green guy. <laughs> Maybe a yellow green. flower. <laughs> green, green. That's <laughs> good luck, as well, I believe. You see, he is thinking of himself. I'm putting it on you. Yes, he's thinking of the yellow flower, you see? Yellow flower. <laughs> yeah, like nowhere. Green with yellow we goes were, We perfect. were just talking about nowhere with the director. See? For some reason, <laughs> see? just brought it up. <laughs> please, please. Okay, so what does uh, Dr. Anwar always open the show with? He always tells us that technology is touching our life every day. Yes, right? indeed. Okay, so I thought I'll take this, influenced by what he said, mm. and I will really try to... Basically, I was trying to think of how technology touches our life in the most positive way mm. in our daily lives at home. At so home. I made a little research, looked through a lot of websites to look for the best devices that we can have at home to, number one, make our lives easier, mm -hmm. faster, mm. and what I love the most, try to help the environment and not uh, burn so much energy that we don't need. And okay. also, for doctors, Muhammad favorites, more emotional. More emotional. Actually, I will it's get coming, there. It's one coming. There's one that has emotions here. We yes, will get yes. to it. Please. But please. actually, what I'd like you guys to uh, uh, um, uh, keep in mind, mm -hmm. I want to go through it, and what I want you to tell me what device you think would be best suit your house right here in Kuwait. Exactly. Because okay. it's about houses. Yes, okay, okay. Yes. Go, ahead. go okay. ahead. I'm going to start with the least important that I thought and with the most important later. Yes. The number one, I don't know if you guys remember, we talked about uh, the best gadgets uh, of 2012. I thought I'll bring that up. It's called the Bullet uh, LED light bulb. Yes, again, we remember this. Yes, yes, it's called the LED O. I'll bring it up again. It's a German made. You know how German maids are very yes. good. It's a light bulb that never goes bad. Mm. You don't have to change it. Uh, because it's LED and it has a very long life. But it's not your regular LED. It has this liquid. That in this liquid amplifies these small, let's say we have about 12 or 24 small LED, LED lights. It'll amplify that as if it is a Above. regular light bulb. Full of light show, light. show my screen, please. Here are various samples of the LED light bulbs. 
And uh, so, yes. So uh, one of them actually is called the LEDO. It's not your regular one. It has this liquid. I believe it's the first one from now. Uh -huh. if you go, it's the first one. It's special because... Which uh, one? This one? Uh, go, if you go... Slowly down? down? Yes. It's the first one that's lit. On the, on the, on the left. You yes. see the one that's lit? Yeah. This is LED and yes. it's covered by this special liquid. Actually, if you drop it, it'll break and the liquid will go. But Whoa. it's not, it's not uh, unsafe liquid. It's hmm. actually safe liquid. But this liquid is very, very important because it amplifies light and it kind of uh, creates like a, a, a radiator. Uh, it, it cools. That's why the LED will never go bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm but this is very good. The liquid, I mean, if it is amplifies the if, yeah the light. I Do think. we have it here in Kuwait? I don't. I think you can get it. It's called the Bullet LEDO German made. I'm sure you can get it through the internet. You know, you can get anything on but internet. But I think this li the, the the liquid is very sophisticated, yes. highly advanced. That's why I'm telling you, it's yeah. a little different than your regular LED. It light must be, you know? otherwise, how can it uh, amplifies? It's like amplifier. Exactly. Amplifying the sound. Exactly. Now it's the light. Exactly. With three, four LED small lights, you get, you know, very good illumination. Yes. We move to our second, yes. which I thought is uh, also uh, important. It's not a gadget, but here's the idea. Tell me if you guys, guys like it. Very interesting. There's a, there's a, a, a frame mm -hmm. that you put on your fridge. You know how people get creative on the fridge when you have these magnets? You always write notes. You always do yeah, things. They stick this. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Instead of what that, what to do things? Yes, you put, you put it on your fridge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? So, so over here, there's this frame that you um, uh, basically uh, attach your iPad in. Hmm. So your app iPad becomes the pad that's on the fridge that you can write your the notes. The panel. The panel, yes, exactly. You can write your notes, your recipes, what you'd like to eat. Some, ki uh, if you have kids, they'll come and draw. And it has interactivity. Or it's just, just your iPad. It's just something that holds your iPad. Yes, but yes, instead yes. of having all these yes, notes yes, and magnets, yes. I thought it would you be a cool thing. You need to stop a little bit near this fridge. Yes. yes, exactly, and just like you and know. then open it and have some drink. Will it be uh, able to tell me the fridge is missing little tomatoes? Yeah, yes, well, you can write that down. See, yes. if you don't have tomatoes, <laughs> we need tomatoes. Yes, very nice. Mm. Very Nice. Mm. I think what they will, will come when that happens. Do you remember LG when they came up with the fridge, with the internet fridge? Yes. Mm. And it tells you you're missing tomatoes. And, and there is yeah. a b pint of milk you need. So now just stick your iPad uh, on the fridge. And I think this will, be the, thing. Yeah. Yes, this will be the thing. Okay. Yes. A nice I, idea. I've heard about that before. Mm. Yes, it yes, it does. No, there are smart fridges, have. yes. There is a smart fridge mm. which tell you if they have to uh, taken out some mm, of the products exactly so it will just give you alarm uh, what is the less for example uh, if uh, people eat something of the cheese mm. yeah yeah if you are 40 know. plus club you would remember 40 or 50 <laughs> no no 40 still <laughs> Okay. We'll, move, we'll move to the next uh, one, number, uh, number three. We have the, uh, I remember you really liked that um, uh, gadget. I'll, I'll repeat it again here that I thought, I thought it was very important to have in Kuwait, especially in Kuwait. It's called the Nest, uh, the learning thermostat, remember? So basically this is a thermostat at home that you can attach. And it's ba basically, actually, I just checked this. It's only 60 kDs, which is not a lot. Thermostat that you can check at home that you can control through your app uh, wow. Whether you have an Android, Please iPhone. Please see it on my screen. That's exactly it. That's what it. Does it. What does yes. it do? Uh, basically, it's just something that what's mm. cool about it is that it's connected to the internet and connected to your phone. Mm. There's an app that will connect to your Android phone, uh, Apple, uh, Blackberry, I believe, iPhone, all the phones and Windows. So you control the temperature at home through your mobile. Through your mobile. If, let's say if you traveled and it tells you Very your home good. is too nice. warm. You can control that or you can turn it off or turn it on before you get home in 20 minutes. Nice idea. So yes. this is very important, especially in Kuwait, because we do suffer from energy. Sold. Use. Sold. Thank you. Okay. Number four is called the Colid DTV Digital Shower System. Now we're getting into, you know, uh, things that have to do with the mood. You know, the remember? digital? It's called uh, Colid DTV, DTV Digital Shower System. Dr. Mohammed, please listen to this. Here it is yes. on the screen. Yes. Digital shower. Digital, Digital shower, shower system. Yes. Okay. What does here's, it do? Here's how the mood thing that you guys talk about. Yeah, the mood about. thing. Yes, I think this yes. is Dr. Mohammed. We need, very it. We need it interested. nowadays. Yes. So let's say you are yes, in the mood. Yes, he needs this digital. No, Mohammed Al Mullah, he needs this digital uh, the shower. The shower. Yes. Yeah, the first photo please from explain, the left. Explain to the us. First this. Photo the from first from the left. photo from the left. From the left. left. Yeah. Let me tell you what's cool about this. Let's say you are in the mood of being refreshed. Oh. You know, you need to wake up. Yeah. You press the button 
uh, that says, let's say, refre refre uh, you refresh. You need to be refreshed. My mood. Exactly. What it does, what it, turns, it does, it turns the right amount of water temperature wow. to refresh you. Wow. It adds color and light with the LED lights to bring up your mood and you know make you feel more awake. With the music. With, I don't know about the music. I don't still. know about it's the only, music. It's, it's light and yeah. water yeah. and water pressure. Yeah. Water warmth mm. and uh, light. Color, you said. Color. It also yeah. has color. That's what I read. Uh, um, and the past. I think these tempered um, people. These uh, tempered people, some people go uh, g very uh, fast with mm. their temper and they are yeah. getting across. Uh, temper, but you make their day. Yes. Huh? This you makes start with beautiful day. Th this is mm. what I'm saying. This makes their day. Of, of course. I think this has and to be. Them productive. I think we have to be agent of this product, Dr. Mohammed. Again, I again, what is it called? It's called the uh, Call It DTV Digital Shower System. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, when do you come up with these ideas? Yeah. Here's, here's amazing. I, you are. I, I sit yeah. at night. But I think, be, be careful. If the power is not on, it make you the cold uh, shower, <laughs> and then you get That's to freeze. Bad. You get to freeze. <laughs> That's bad. I was gonna tell you about the opposite. You know, uh, what I need is a. You know, what I need is a shower that after you come back from work, uh, it kind of unwinds ah, you. Massage and relaxing. I well, want to be able to go to sleep. Look at his face. Yeah. This look at the tell expression. Us, tell him more. Tell him more. <laughs> tell him more. This one can turn on tell the right pressure. Tell him more. Tell, tell, them, <laughs> tell them more. <laughs> it can turn on the right pressure, the right warmth. You see how emotional he is. He is hungry. <laughs> emotional. I am. For I gadgets. Confess. Yes. I yes. confess. Yeah, you confess. I am. Yes. I am. Uh, publicly. See, yes, I tell you. Yes, please. Speak more and about <laughs> this. Uh, and what's cool about this one is that if there's a panel, instead of you're like turning on knobs, you know, you just tell it what temperature. Nice. And you just write it down with the panel, and then it just gives it to you. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, too cold, too hot. Yes. But, uh, Mr. Faisal, electricity and water, do they mix? Um, panel, and water. Well, digital yeah. world, your uh, technology, this I believe it does. This is digital world, Dr. Uh, yeah, Mohammed. This is, I think of course, the electricity now is under the mercy of the digital. Digitalization, mm. you see, mm. e everything. Yes, fiber optics. Everything now, as our director so it is mentioned. safe, secure. Yeah, it is safe, secure, Doctor Muhammad. This is for your. And you can talk to it. Yes, perhaps you can speak at some stage. That's it. That's. Uh, please give me a joke. A joke? Yes. Well, <laughs> while you are taking the shower. So, so basically, yes. no electricity means no water, no shower. Just like you said, when nice. electricity goes bad or yes, so I think it this is a very interesting cut. show. This is very yes, yes. Very nice ideas. Number five is number um, five. He liked number four. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, number five is a really interesting um, marriage between Samsung and Microsoft. They they have built something called the SUR 40 inch, which is a basically. Do you know the Surface? Yes. Mm -hmm. The small Surface from Microsoft. This is called the Surface 40 inch. So it's a table that is 40 inch done by Microsoft. On my screen, please. Done by Microsoft and Samsung. So Samsung that and Microsoft. Exactly. That so it's surface computing. Exactly. That means you're going to get a very good computer and a very good screen. Nice. Uh, and this, what's, what's really cool about this, you can work on it. You can have your coffee on it. You can read your newspaper while touching it. And you can do your work. There's a lot of things you can do. Wow. I, I read wow. somewhere that it's actually waterproof. Well, the surface computing, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yes. It is like yes, a table of with this. high quality. With, with Microsoft this time doing it and Samsung. Oh, I see. Which is good. Because well, I think they are they are copying uh, Microsoft's idea, isn't it? Well, it is it's Microsoft. A it's a shared project. It's a shared project. A shared project. project. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. But this is the hot uh, thing about 2013 right now. It's they're, they're, Unbelievable. You know, it's the one that we got used to that you drag and yeah, yeah, yeah. you can do those intuitive. fancy movements. Exactly. Of Tom Cruise and the Tom Cruise one. I think at one the stage, at some stage. Mm. You know, you spoke about holograms, uh, yes, face on subjects, and yeah. somebody comes out of this table like this to yeah, you. With yeah, yeah, with the movements. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I call you Anwar Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> and so you. maybe, maybe in the future they'll create this table with hologram. This table itself mm -hmm. will have, I think, with the advancement of the technology, God give us the age to live. Uh, I think in five or ten years more. Hopefully. To see this advancement, this table will be like holograms. When we think, we talk about some technologies that just come out to us from and the table. And we tables. sit at home and present the show while at home, and our holograms are here. We don't yes, even have to we are here. sitting at home. <laughs> Remember, he started this show today 
with the 3D printing. Yes. Mm. So Anwar could be 3D printed image of yes. Yes. a robot, maybe. Huh? And <laughs> talking the and cloning. laughing. This is the cloning, yes. Huh? Right. Every week. The car, we saw the car moving. And it's a 3D object. Yeah. Every, every week we'll have a new a new image for Dr. Anwar. Uh, yes, a new character. <laughs> a, a new character yeah. new from character. the 3D. No, I like my character. I like my face. I am uh, satisfied with myself, as I am. <laughs> I am very pleased uh, with your image, but uh, we need Japanese language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll present it in a new language this week. Language, you mean, or something else. Funny <laughs> you brought up Jap Japan. You know me with Japan. Yes. Our number one. Item, a device. That yes, this is top of the list. According to what I believe. Yes, top of the list. Yes. I'm sure you guys are going to laugh. The, 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 the top 10, now we are getting to this. the top chart. <laughs> Some music. But, uh, top of the chart. I seriously believe this is, if I can get it in my home, I'd really like that. Uh, it's called the Toto Washlet. The Toto Washlet is a toilet mm. that is standard in Japan. Mm. But here's what it does. This is amazing. It's, it's actually standard in Japan. Please. When you walk to this... Um, On my screen. When you walk to this device, mm. it knows that you had actually uh, walking to it. It opens the lid, okay? Automatic. To, automatically. Nice. If you want the other lid to open, you press a button. The next lid opens. It warms the temperature according... It has a thermostat. Mm. It warms the temperature of the seat according to what uh, is comfortable this, for yeah, the, the, the room being. temperature. Exactly. The, the bathroom temperature is... When you walk away from it, it has a sensor. Automatically, it'll close it. It'll wash the, the seat completely. Yes. It'll wash the seat, so I mean, no one has to wash <laughs> Don't it. Don't worry about this. Yeah. Yes. So it's very hygienic. Yeah, it's I can see the washing automatic. Exactly. It's very nice. hygienic. Mm. There's no germs on it. And you don't have to maintain it so much. It's just this one device. But this is Japanese or this Chinese? Is, this is a Toto is actually a Japanese. But now, uh, North America and, uh, and also in Germany, you're s they're starting to see more of those in homes. I really hope that, uh, you know, maybe a company brings it here in Kuwait so we can buy it. But uh, yes, I really believe this because I've used it and I thought it was really cool. I want to add one last information about this. In Japan, actually mm -hmm. uh, they have taken the step further so um, and in uh, uh, like um, uh, uh, including the standard device they also have this panel now mm. with that comes with this uh, Toto um, brand it's a panel on the, your right where you sit it's also connected to the seat okay. here's what it does and this is very good for people that suffer from medical issues you put your hand mm. It measures your uh, blood pressure. Mm. It also takes a sample of your blood. Mm. Of course, this is, you have to pay a lot more for that, but it takes a sample it's for a your first blood. Aid. It's a complete first aid. Yes, like it him. tells you uh, your di di diabetes level. If you uh, suffer from this, it tells you any kind of problems on this panel and the bathroom. So um, this is the next step. High tech bathroom. What do you think? <laughs> I think this is too much complicated, perhaps. <laughs> If you fail to press this button or that button, then you might fall on your face, and then this is the uh, tragedy becomes. And when you fall, press a button of the cold water, and then this comes out on you, and then you're just shivering like hell, and then you are getting okay. out, and like what? Come on, the you, girl, got, you right. catch the cold, and then you stay for one week. This is a dramatic uh, no, story. No, come on, Dr. It's Do smart. It, it knows. It, it won't give you cold water when you don't need cold uh, water. It, it has the feeling. It just feels you. Uh, that's it what I'm telling you. you. That's why you were saying. <laughs> Believe me, this technology I have seen in the 80s mm. in the Prime Minister of Canada's, uh, the ex-Prime Minister of Canada's Pierre Trudeau's house. Yeah. His bathroom was equipped with such technology in the 80s. Yeah, so Beautiful. they are reading the future, yes. I think. But uh, now it's becoming more standard because it's becoming more accessible because technology is getting yes, uh, yes, yes. cheaper. Yes, I think we have to think which one is the best. I think oh. these emotional yes. things I very much uh, suits uh, <laughs> some people. The one uh, keeps me young. Yeah. Nobody tops anyone. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> tops anyone. Best device. I think uh, we need something for the green things and we need something for the disabled people. I think with these techy things, uh, we need them in the future. I think this will help and make life easy for them. I think this is also very important. Thank you. Thank you, Faisal. Yes. Welcome, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you, Faisal. I would like to, before we end, two minutes. I think we have, or two minutes and a half by now. Our director is telling me. I just, uh, you want to say something? No, I have no, something. replace my kidney. I'm waiting. Yes. <laughs> why should I? I think you have a, a working kidney. Why should we replace it? No, no, no. God forbid, uh, I hope Was it you blessed or, or 
for playing. No, thank God, I, I'm fine. But blessed. Uh, I think he's at blessed. I hope uh, our uh, director. Uh, there is no program, <laughs> Obama, to answer your questions in his second Google Hangout. I think, <laughs> can you see this? <laughs> he likes to hang out, huh? Y yes, can you see this? <laughs> answer my questions yes, in his second Google Hangout. Yes, it nice. says, this is one hour ago, huh? Be careful, huh? Unbelievable. This is just, uh, Any question news. you have? Uh, out of the oven, uh, President Barack Obama will answer questions in Google Powered Fireside Hangout. Thursday, two days after the deli he delivered, delivers this year's State of the Union address. Yeah. Obama's Google Hangout is scheduled for Thursday at 4.50. It will, uh, it will stream live on the White House Google Plus profile, as well as its YouTube channel, according to Google. Goodness me, they are using these technologies, you see? Can you see this again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have a question for Obama, you can submit it to the White House YouTube channel by 11 or almost 12 p.m. ET. When is the evening, you can also vote on questions submitted by others. You see? Wow. And the president will can answer I, you. Can yes. I tell a little remark about this? Actually, it's interesting that you brought this up, but mm. uh, a lot of people say the reason why Obama won twice is because he was really in mm. touch with technology the, and Twitter and uh, Facebook. The social media, the I social think he media used, he Google. put a manager, one of his campaign people, he is a social guy, social uh, mentors, let us say. And he used this technology to the end, to the limit. And of course, nowadays, with the Twitters, the followers, and everybody. <coughs> now, the, you see, they are, there is a different world. You see, there is a, the cyber world, you call the Twitter world, mm -hmm. the Facebook world. There are billions of people around the world connected mm. and doing a lot of activities. Yes, it is never too late. It is never too late. I think this is one of the things which we you need You remember to Japanese Prime Minister when he said, I want to learn how to send email. It's never too late. Never too late. Never too late, my friend, but it is a little bit late for our show. This is the last <laughs> minute of the show. Unfortunately, we hope you enjoyed this show, our dear viewers, the digital talk or digital talk show. Yes, indeed. But before we go, our dear viewers, I would like, of course, to thank Mr. Faisal. Thank you so much. With Dr. Mohammed Al Mullah. Pleasure. And everybody in the studio, everybody in the control. And before we say bye bye and uh, good night, we would like to you. Everybody watching us to put this good smile on your face. And if anybody asks you, why are you smiling? You can tell them, and there is no harm in doing so, that you have just finished watching your favorite show. That is the Digital Talk Show. Good night. <laughs>